the housing situation and the migrant situation in Australia. Over the next two years, the government, the federal government, plans to bring in three quarters of a million new people to this country, even though the latest polling from the Australian Population Research Institute has found that 69% of voters, that's two thirds or three quarters of Australians, believe we don't need more people. At the same time, of course, rental listings are plummeting. The latest figures showing Melbourne's tenants have almost a quarter fewer homes to choose from this winter than they did a year ago. And now, of course, the Andrews government today is talking about stripping away first home buyers grants to make it even harder for young people to get into the market. Joining me now to discuss this and more, media writer for The Australian, Sophie Ellsworth, and the head of the Institute of Public Affairs, Scott Hargraves. Well, welcome to you both. I'm going to start with you if I can, Sophie. You previously, before you were writing about media, were a financial writer. I can't fathom, A, we don't have a population policy in this, in this country, but why on earth are we bringing in a record number of migrants just at the same time that we've got this extraordinary pressure on housing for everyone who's here already? Well, Peter, as you pointed out in your column today in The Australian, there is a problem with all these migrants coming in. Uh, but people are worried about saying that and being classified as being racist for saying that firstly. But the big issue here is where are you going to house them? Where's the infrastructure? And so we're seeing, obviously, with little available rents for um, Australians, mm -hmm. they're really hunting for properties and finding it hard. And we know that landlords are having to push up their rents because all their costs are going up. So it's a really difficult situation for both landlords. Also, many of them are having to let go of their properties and sell them because they can't cope with the rising interest rates. So it's a very dire situation for so many different moving parts here. Sophie, spot on because we've got 40% of the houses that went to auction recently in Sydney, 40% were investors selling out, 36% in Victoria.